I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious developers just like you and me. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life in all circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions, especially with the uncertain times that we're all living in today. Skillshare is a perfect way for you to brush up on technical skills that you can use to secure your future as aspiring developer. One of the classes that I'm particularly interested in is the hand coding your first website HTML and CSS basics original by Rich Armstrong. And I think this is perfect for building that basic foundation that you need to help you move on to JavaScript and building your own websites on your own. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I hope you all enjoyed the rest of this video. Guys, guys, I have something to tell you. Imposter syndrome is fake. All right, guys, what is up, everyone? What is up? Okay, yeah, what's up? Say what's up to the YouTube channel. I know what is up, everyone. Welcome to another video. My name is Chris, and I'm continuing my series as four years as a developer. What have I learned up to this moment? Guys, I want to tell you something. I'm coding on my computer right now. I'm literally on my computer right here, and I'm coding. And I just received an offer letter to that new company, literally, just late last night. And I couldn't believe how amazing and big this offer letter was. And as I was reading it and as I signed it, one thing I was thinking about, and I, 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 I guess you could say as I was signing it, I was reminiscing the last four years, my life and all the struggles I went through, all the difficulties I went through to get to where I am today. Because I feel like I'm at the pinnacle, but it's not. It will go even further than where I am now, which is absolutely insane. But what I want to share is now when I think about my last four years, when I think about it, everything I went through, all my doubts, all my struggles, one thing that I've come to realize is this. <sighs> imposter syndrome is fake. And what is imposter syndrome? It's when you feel like you're going to be exposed for something that you're not. For example, you get a job as a software engineer, as a web developer, front-end developer, back-end developer. Someone hires you at a company, and then while you're working, you're thinking, oh my gosh, what if I can't solve this ticket? What if I can't solve this problem? What, what if I can't write this landing page? What if I can't fix this function, fix this bug, fix this for loop, whatever it is? What if I can't do any of this? What's going to happen? I might get exposed thinking that they hired a developer when I'm really not as good as they thought I would be. What if they switch my resume with someone else? Oh no, what's going to happen? I'm gonna tell you this, if you felt that every single developer, unless you were or are a child prodigy has felt this. I mean, I certainly have, that's for sure. Chris, what are you talking about? What do you mean that imposter syndrome is fake? What I mean is this, you know, all the times that I've doubted myself, all the times when I felt imposter syndrome, all the times when I felt like I wasn't good enough, I was wrong. Imposter syndrome is, was tricking me. It was giving me anxiety when I didn't need it. It was giving me fear. It was making me be scared of something when there was nothing to be scared of. I remember when I was working at my mid-level job after leaving my junior position, my manager would constantly tell me like, Chris, why do you doubt yourself so much? And then note this, note this. This was when I was making videos on telling people that you're better than you realize. Why was I saying that? Because my manager, my boss was telling me that exact same thing. He was telling me, Chris, why do you doubt yourself so much? Believe in yourself. I hired you because I know you can do it. I hired you because I know you can code. I would not hire someone that I think does not have the ability to code or the potential to be even better than he is at that moment. This is something that he constantly told me, but because of my stupid imposter syndrome, I would still not fully believe the words you were saying. I would still believe, no, he's wrong. He doesn't know me as much as he thinks he does, but he did. He watched all my YouTube videos. And one thing he told me was, Chris, why are you so positive? Why are you so confident in your videos but in person when you're coding you're not and i would tell him i just sometimes i just feel like i'm not that good but unfortunately it was that thought that was slowing me down it was that thought that was hindering my growth as a developer and pushing forward to become better than i should have been <laughs> that's what held me back so much why do i say this i say it because of this when i look at how bad my imposter syndrome was i go back to the very beginning now something in the past has happened and I think that's one of the things that has really 
affected me, unfortunately. And there was a time when I was working, there was someone who was getting his degree, going to a really like world renowned college, expensive as hell college. And one thing that this person would do constantly was saying, I don't know how you got a job here. You don't even have a degree. You don't even know that much code. And this is true. I got hired only knowing HTML and CSS. Knew, I knew no JavaScript. But of course, by that time, I already knew jQuery. I just wasn't as good as uh, someone who probably had more experience than me. And this person would constantly, like, you know, they would say words, not constantly, but they would say words here and there, like, yeah, I mean, that's why I'm going to college so I can build these things. And then what would happen is that what this person would do is that when this person would build something, this person would say really loud in the office for everyone to hear, this is what I built, this is what I built, look what I did. While I'm the junior friend and developer building these basic things. This person, I wouldn't say this person intentionally did this to me. He did not intentionally do this to me, but it affected me in ways and I did not realize until now when I thought about it, was that this person who wasn't a CS graduate yet, but was going to get their, grad, their degree in computer science, this person was giving me severe imposter syndrome. Because I remember during that time thinking, dang it, if only when I was 21, I was 27 at this time. If only if I was 21, I got my computer science degree. If only if I was 18, I went straight to school. If only I got straight A's in high school and got a scholarship so I can afford to go to college. I remember, I remember thinking all of these things during that time. Why? Because I felt like, man, I will never catch up to that person. And these things have affected me tremendously. And the reason I'm sharing this is because, yeah, that person was right. I don't have a degree. But it does not mean that I'm not capable of coding and coding well. Chris, like, yeah, when I was working my mid-level job, I was very hard on myself for not being better than I realized because I was focusing on both YouTube and coding. I didn't want to do one more than the other. I want to do both equally. And so because of that, yeah, I couldn't grow as much as a coder as I should have, right, as a developer. But when I really look back, like, man, there was nothing wrong in me during these times. This imposter syndrome that I felt was nothing but my own thoughts holding me back. Why do I say this? Because... I'm joining a really big company. I guess I will be teaching code, right? Uh, which is my dream, to be able to do that, to help people to teach code, like, for a living, which is absolutely insane. But me, who has no degree, who did not go to a four-year university, I didn't even go, I dropped out of community college, even community college, even community college is hard for me, that I, myself, who went through none of that, is now becoming someone who's able to teach code for a living at a high level. That's crazy. And so when I realized this, I realized, man, all those times when I thought that I couldn't code, those were just my thoughts. That's just my my confidence. Like I, I lacked so much in confidence despite making videos and trying to help people. I had a, I forgot to help myself, to give confidence to myself. And I want you guys to realize that after doing this for more than four years, I'm on my way to five. I, I'm still four and a half, right? Four and a half years. But on my way to five years doing this now, that hey. You're more capable than you realize. And do not ever allow someone, or even especially your own self, to tell you that you are not as good as others think you are, because you are better than you realize. Whether you already are a developer, or you're aspiring developer, coding is so much easier than people realize. The one thing that holds you back more than anything else are your own thoughts, is you, more than anyone else's words. I regret, I usually say I have no regrets, but that is my big regret, allowing one person to affect me mentally in a way where it dragged me down, where I felt like I was dragging a large pile of cement up a mountain for so many years. And I finally was able to cut off those chains, release those chains, and have that confidence to realize, yo, I really am a developer. I really am good at this. I may not be the best, but I am capable. Four years as a developer, this is the one, and if not the most important thing I've learned. Because of this, I'm doing things I never thought I could ever imagine doing. I'm building a web development company. I'm building a desk accessory company. I'm building a mentoring platform. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm doing it. And I'm going to be teaching for a living. This is amazing, man. I'm, I'm so thankful to be able to do what I do and be where I'm now. But I want you to know that if I can do it, you can do it too. Anyways, I wanna thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan, this is a Lifeboard Developer. And I'm out, see you guys in the next video. Peace.